All right, we've got a nice spot for the van underneath these big beautiful pines. Everybody here is still getting everything set up, but there's people rolling in camping. So we are here for a river fest here at the Paddler's Co-op on the Madawaska River. And now we just wait for the rest of the crew to show up. Apparently there's a lot of people going. This looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. beautiful misty morning here at Palmer Rapids and everyone's starting to get up and milling around getting their gear sorted out getting breakfast ready and yeah excited everybody's ready to get out on the water folks are all rolling in now and they're making breakfast here very reasonable price a couple of lovely ladies running the grill I got bacon and egg sandwiches so I'll take that over cooking any day okay got the pack raft got all the gear I think we're ready to go trying something different these straps here you can tighten you don't want your feet flapping around in the end. You want to feel kind of snug in there. Oh, okay. It's just going to give you a bit more traction when you get to white water. But also when you're paddling, it means that you can do cushion against the front of your boat to get a bit more momentum and a bit more power in, okay? I forgot that part too. <laughs> okay, that was fun. We've got canoes and kayaks everywhere out here. We're all soaking wet. And now, maybe they'll let us take a boat through. All right, we scouted this. Now, we get the run. I always get someone stuck in my head out here. And this time, since I woke up this morning, it's been Delta Dawn. I don't know who sings it or anything, but I've had that line stuck in my head. Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Is that even the right line? I don't know. Alright, here we go. This is a good one. They go hard. Really hard. Come 
Battle over this way. Come this way. Right out in the middle. Right to the middle. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go. You guys sound like you're having way too much fun. It is. It's great. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's mud. Yeah, it's pretty sludgy. I was thinking. Like half clay, half sand. All right, we're gonna run her again. Get everybody here. I think this time they're just gonna let us bomb down. It's like one paddle stroke and you can spin on a dime here. They sit so high in the water. It's like paddling a wine cork or something. You just kind of bob along. <laughs> it's way woo! Yeah, it's hard not to smile when you're playing on this thing. It's so fun! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when people seem jealous at how much fun we're having. It's like, you guys are doing this. Yeah, don't, don't blame me because this is more fun than what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, like, sorry you were conforming yeah. with society. <laughs> Got one more run before lunch. I'm going to play down this raffle one more time.
<laughs> it was a 20 meter race. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a hold of one of the back of these kids' kayaks and let them drag me back. <laughs> Had an awesome time out. My first time in a pack raft, that was so much fun. Now we're just waiting for lunch to get here and we've got some live music. Local guy named Ian Pattison. Gonna serenade us with a banjo while we wait for lunch to get here. Nice job! <laughs> Did you see my ball? <laughs> uh, oh, somebody, somebody dumped. <laughs> okay, we're back up at the bigger flow again. Our upper wrapper, this was a lot of fun, the run we just ran down. We're gonna do it again. These little rafts, this is a lot of fun. the lower again and this time we got Benny Beauchamp, Brooke Smith, and Evan. Woo! You're like the biggest canoe on the river. <laughs> I want to switch with you. Dude this thing is so much fun. Alright Evan we'll see it. Alright. I'll follow you. Yeah. Yeah. Ben you good? Oh, <laughs> not even close. It's enormous. <laughs> and it's only the 15. It just looks so big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure all the girls say that. <laughs> I can't get over how fast that boat turns. Are you stuck on a rock?
before we hit the big waves. Back up to the top. Ready to do this fun section one more time. Try to make it the whole day without dumping. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's so much fun. for a little bit. Yeah, you were in a break, you did say you were getting tired through the long stretch. <laughs> you just wanted to be here, grab this. Uh, and a captain for the canoers. All right, good. What's your name? Dakota. Dakota, right? I remember last time we did a real life. The kayakers beat us because they made it to the other side and Watch instead of doing yourself. the nice sportsman thing of turning the boat the around, around they just switched places. Oh, that's for oh. the other hand paddle. That's the hand paddle. Oh, that's what's good. Two minutes. Two minutes to okay. start of the we River Regatta. Oh, I can the kayak. River Regatta starting in two minutes. <laughs> now, for those who don't know, last year I was the first River Regatta. It was very successful for the kayakers. We're not sure. We're not sure, but rumor has it that the trophy was designed from the teardrops of the canoeists last year, who went down to ignominious defeat for nothing. The first event is a tail tag. Each team uh, will have someone in a pack raft, someone in a kayak, someone in a canoe. There are two people in a canoe. Each of the teams have tails. This year, the uh, canoeists are... Uh, guys, you wrecked my whole color coordination thing. Green was supposed to go with the yellow boats. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what you said. It does! You know how hard it worked to find that? Fine, 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 fine. I'll live with it. 
I'll live it. I even bought pool noodles that match each tea. Oh my god. All right. We'll move on from that. Recover. I'll take a big breath. Uh, so you have to pull the uh, the tails off the opposing team's uh, kayaks, canoes, and pack rafts. The team at the end, well, I, and throw the tail that you grab in your boat, and we'll bring it up here. The team that has the longest tail uh, wins points. In these events, two points uh, for winning, one point for participating, zero points for not finishing. On your marks. Let's hear it, people. Yes. 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 Then the trophy, um, the team that loses has to carry the boats and paddles back. <laughs> Just FYI. This event is the tri-boat relay. The pack rafts will start from here. Kayakers on that side, canoeists on this, uh, uh, canoeists on this side. So I need people in boats. On your marks, get set, go! Give a cheer, cheer for your team. No, it's not over. This is not the canoeist forte. Give them a cheer, everyone. Give them a cheer. Help them up. I'm not sure who's winning because my crew screwed up all my color coordination that I worked so hard. But I'm, I'm going to try and let that go. Meanwhile, back to the race. It looks like the kayakers are winning. Oh, man, Nico. Oh, yeah, the kayakers are winning. They're extending their lead. Watch out. We're They're extending their lead. Canoers go. Uh, kayakers go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. So the rules of this event are, 
One person will be on the pack raft with a pool noodle. Please grab the pool noodles here and try and color coordinate them, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go, like, boys. You got red for the canoeists and green for the, the kayakers. And there's people going to be fired over that color thing. <laughs> and and, and um, so one person will be standing on the pack raft with a with a, a, a jousting pool noodle. Game on! Yeah. River. Yeah. Game on! Oh. Oh. One mighty shot from Nico, the linchpin of the kayak team. Go now! You can keep the same jouster or switch at this point. It's up to you. The canoeist team really wants to win. They're being cutthroat. You lose once, and you're out on the canoeist team. You're being replaced. You're being replaced. It looks like... Oh, oh and Nico does not want to give his position up on the pack raft, so he's beating his partner. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! We need the six people from each team. Is Team Canoe ready? Is Team Kayak ready? Is the crowd ready? The race finishes when you get back here at the dock. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, 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 oh,
the judge. Is there anyone else in the office staff that can come over right now? Keep going, Team Canoe. You're not out of it yet. Oh! got everyone back in the boat and actually hand paddled across the finish line. Right. So I'm thinking we disqualify the kayak team for, well, they didn't hand paddle. They didn't have six people in the canoe when they crossed the line. They hand paddled that. No, but then someone fell out of the canoe, right? No. Someone, yeah. Nico jumped back in the canoe. Video replay. But what did you see? What do you think? I thought he swam the rest of the way. Yeah, I thought he swam the rest okay. of the way, too. He's back in the boat. He's back in the boat. Okay, and then they hand paddle back. He's back in. Did, did, did you see that? I can't. My eyes aren't good. Okay. See it again. See it. There, he's getting in the boat. Where? Where? Oh. Back there. Okay. And then he's. No, get you're right. So we have uh, the judges have ruled. The judges have ruled after reviewing videotape evidence. Um, and applying the same rules to both teams, and despite their heroic effort to get back into it and finish and get a point, the uh, team kayak did get their sixth person in back in the boat before they crossed the finish line. Uh, so we're giving the two points to uh, team kayak. The canoeists end up with a score winning three events outright, giving them six points picking up the point for finishing this race seven, and picking up the two points for the participation award, tripling the number of kayakers, that makes the score nine to six. Nine to six. Thank you. All team canoe, get you in the canoe. Get in the canoe. I'm gonna sit on the bow like this. You gotta. To make the presentation today, uh, is the Carrie from the office? <laughs> Give it up for Carrie, everyone. Would you like to say a few words on behalf of the co-op? No. <laughs> we didn't hear that. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good. All right. So now for the presentation, Carrie, if you could please present their captain. Name? Dakota. Dakota. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure. Big hand. Hey, sit back down, Dakota, for the Dynasty. picture. Dynasty. Dynasty. Okay, hold it up above your head. Two we... hands, buddy. Two hands. That's what the camera is. One nut, boys. <laughs> all right. Thank you again to all the staff at Pounders Co op for all of you. getting up and getting moving outside so I think I'll do the same might as well make some coffee first it is a chilly morning before I head down. <laughs> before you head out of here, like head home? Yeah. Yeah, Toronto is down. <laughs> kind of. Had an absolutely awesome weekend. Awesome people. So cool hanging out with so many passionate uh, paddlers, whitewater enthusiasts. Like, you really see the, uh, the addictive nature of whitewater. I've talked to it before, it's so many people, it's pretty cool just to see a group of you know like-minded people all out there having fun. Awesome music last night with Ryan and the band. And, you know, I had such a great time and it seemed like everyone was just really thoroughly enjoying the camaraderie and the water and the weather, everything. But it's time to move on. I go run a few errands, get some food, and pack up. I think I want to get off the road and get into the backcountry a little bit. So, time to get set for that. Just got myself all cleaned up and sorted out. Got some things hanging out to dry that didn't quite dry in the last few days. I'm now just outside the little hamlet of Whitney. I can grab a few things here. And then tomorrow we're heading straight into Algonquin, but I'm going to start working on this video. Hopefully I can get it ready, get it out tonight, and then go back into camp tomorrow to do a little backcountry. What a wicked weekend I have. If you're interested in, in paddling, learning some instruction, whether it be a pack boat that I was using, you want to do solo or tandem canoeing, kayaking, uh, Paddlers Co-op is awesome. They're super friendly people, and... It is genuinely like a cooperative where everyone's in it together. They're all like-minded working towards the same end. And it's, it was really cool to see it. They've made a really great environment there. So I would say if you're looking for some paddling instruction, you want more instruction on whitewater, uh, if you want to go on an extended whitewater guided trip, they do all kinds of stuff like that. So check them out. I'll put a link in the description to, uh, to their social media and their website and whatnot. But now I'm going to get something to eat and try and 
bang this video out before I head it back out to the park. So thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one.